What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jason. Welcome to my first ever NBA 2K Online ranked match. And you guys know I had to start it off with the Bulls. So we're getting my first ever game in. And of course, I got to go with my favorite squadron. Go on, on ahead and play with Rondo D. Wade and the boys. Now, I'm very inexperienced when it comes to playing 2K. Uh, I was, you know, more into it. 2K15 didn't really touch 2K16 at all. Um, and 2K17, which is obviously this year, I plan on hopefully making, uh, you know, more of, well, not more of an impact, but getting more familiar with the game so I can, you know, play better and not as, you know, lost as I was right here. I had no idea what the hell I was doing, but Rondo takes it in for the first bucket of the game. We're in transition right here, wide open three, and we end up missing. I'm still getting used to the shot meter on what it is I got to do there. Uh, this guy had John Wall, obviously, John Wall, and Wall was extremely fast. Like, there was nothing I could do to keep that kid in front of me. Rondo, right there, D-Wade with his first attempt going to the basket, <coughs> going to the charity stripe, excuse me, and he does knock down both of these. Uh, John Wall is, he's fast. He is fast fast and he had no problem running by me no problem at all john wall would just get the rock run right by me and there was nothing i could do there was i mean i would try and sag off and it didn't matter the speed of john wall was just crazy and speaking of speed i would love to know um as we go back to the free throw line what is up with the stamina? Am I doing something wrong? I feel like as soon as I, I accelerate getting the ball out of bounds, as soon as I pass half court, I'm already fatigued. Like, my uh, turbo boost is, like, not even there anymore. I don't even feel like I'm able to accelerate. It's it's crazy. But uh, right here, offensive rebound, and that is extremely frustrating. Never really want to give those up. But we got a fast break with Butler, and he yams it on in for two points, giving me a four-point lead. Right here, we got a six-point lead, and he ends up making a three, cutting that down to three. And I definitely had trouble on both sides of the ball. Again, really unfamiliar with the game. Uh, I definitely plan on playing a ton of online ranked matches this year, as well as uh, my career. And again, still not sure if I'm going to jump into the whole my team thing. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I, I don't know. You know, it, it just depends on if that's something you guys are are uh, interested in watching i may dabble in it if you guys are interested but uh for me i'm perfectly fine with just uh you know rank matches and also um being able to do my my career so uh which i actually got to uh start recording some episodes so i can go on ahead and uh get some videos done i haven't uh played since episode two but nonetheless right here we go on ahead and go into the second quarter 14 all he takes a horrible shot and somehow goes in like we were draped all over him. How the hell <clears throat> does he make that shot? And one thing th that he does is that he'll click on and try and take a charge like each and every single time. He'll just stand in front of the whole B. And that was frustrating because there was a few times that he actually got away. And I got away with it. And I, my goofy ass ran right into him. Very, very frustrating, man. You can see we're down early right here. We go to the rack and... Uh, we ended up making the layup, and I was down for a little bit trying to fight and claw my way back, and I just felt like I just couldn't get, uh, you know, the necessary uh, consecutive stops to do it. Like, I felt like I would stop him, and then I would get the ball, and then I would miss, and then he would capitalize back on my miss, and, uh, but right there was green, and we do end up taking the one-point lead. So, uh, right here, he just stops and pops right there from deep, and he makes it. And that that's frustrating. That That's a little frustrating. Try a little bit of pick and roll right here, and we end up getting fouled on our way to the rack. So, D-Wade is definitely having a day filled with a lot of free throws. And uh, I don't think I missed any free throws with, uh, with D-Wade. I got to learn my moves. I got to learn my post moves, my dribble moves, my... Uh, ISOs, a lot of things I got to go on ahead and, and learn as he goes to the rack right here, dunks it on us and one. Uh, I just could not keep Wall in front of me. No matter how hard I tried, this man, he was just too fast. He was too damn fast for me. Right here, we chuck it up. I thought, 
I had an opportunity to go on ahead and get a last shot before the quarter ended. And I did, but it got sent back. So we go into the half, down one. And I know things got to change. I got to be more efficiently on offense. And right there, we end up getting a yam as we uh, take a one-point deficit right there. <clears throat> and then he's going to go on ahead and hit a three. See, I don't shoot a lot of threes. Uh, I'm more of a, uh, you know, attack the basket kind of guy. Uh, you know, perimeter game is just something I rarely do. So giving up threes is uh, very hurtful to me because I don't shoot many threes. You know, I rely on things like that to go on ahead and get my points. Most of my shots are located inside the paint. So giving up threes again is very, very frustrating. As we get the and one right there, that right there was big. Allows us to go on ahead and hopefully get a three-point play and make it a two-point game. And one thing I got to do again is I have to stop Wall. He's the one really... Uh, killing me as we got a fast break and we go to the rack again a lot of fouls this game definitely a lot of fouls a lot of opportunity to get free points and you know me i'm gonna go on ahead and try and nibble up each and every single free point that i can <laughs> so uh we end up making it okay so now we're down two at this point we're down four and we get another foul you see he's stripping just sending me to the line for free points sending me to the line and um, num, 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 yum yums I will gobble up all these points, each and every single one of them. I just need to go on ahead and get stopped. I can't stop the damn guy. I can't stop him. So right here, down two, goes to the rack right here, and he just snatched it from midair. So now we have an opportunity to tie the game. Less than a minute remaining. <clears throat> right there, wide open jump shot, and we end up hitting that tie in the game. 46 all, less than 10 seconds remaining, and we end up getting a stupid foul right there, sending him to the line just as the quarter is about to end. So, uh, looks like we may be heading into the fourth quarter down two, and uh, we got to make some uh, some changes. Oh, he actually missed, so we're down one, seven seconds left right here, trying to get a good shot right before the quarter ends, and Wade misses a wide open, uncontested bunny. How does he miss that shot? How? So right here, man, wide open three. We jack it up with the white boy, and we end up making it uh, one of the rare occurrences where I make a three. But then he retaliates with the three of his own, man. And you want to talk about just, oh, my goodness, man. Right here, cut to the basket, big fella. We see you. And now at this point, we're up one. Now we're down one, and he has ball. <coughs> Goes to the layup, and now we're down three. Two minutes remaining right here. He has an opportunity to go up um five and he does so we're down five 140 remaining we go to the rack we end up making the lap so right here is where we got a d up he shoots the three he misses and right here go in transition and he ends up following us and we're gonna go on ahead and hopefully get ourselves a bucket here <coughs> as we're down three game is on the line right here so let's see if we can make something happen and then we end up finding butler but his pinky toe is on the three-point line as it was only two, we're down three, bang! And we end up hitting it with five seconds remaining, tying the game. But then John Wall gets an easy layup, nobody's there. One second remaining, we get the ball advanced. We only have enough time for one play. So I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to grab Jimmy Butler. I'm going to cut to the rack, and I'm going to slam it on in there to tie the game. And we are going to go on ahead and head into overtime <clears throat> now is our opportunity to hopefully come back we were down five with less than two minutes remaining we end up tying the game he ends up uh we tied his game with the three-point shot with butler at 58 all and then he goes on ahead and gets an uncontested layup and uh, yeah don't 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 mind that and then we end up tying the game again with butler so here's overtime let's see if we're gonna go on ahead and be uh, successful in our first ever game. So right there, he's going for his pick. I'm going to stop and pop a three wide open, and Rondo bangs it in. Now we have a three-point lead, which still stands, and then his guy is wide open, and he takes the, the three-point lead right away from me. So right here, we attack the basket. We find the slasher open in the corner. We take the shot, and we end up hitting another three. We're finally able to make our wide open shots. As right here, time is winding down. We're up one, and he doesn't foul me. I bring the clock all the way down. Rondo's wide open for a three, and that right there will seal the deal. We end up winning the game by four points. <coughs> one hail of a game. The very next online match I play with the Blazers, that game is already played. Um, let me know in the comment section, man, what team you guys want me to play with. I'll try to get gameplay as quickly as possible with the teams you guys want to see. 
It's your boy GS so far. We're starting off 1-0. See you guys next time. Peace.